Um, I think a lot of people well, so, unsure not just why he's being released, but why the reasons why he's being released are not being made public, because people want to know that they are not at risk. Yes, yeah, right. This man is, uh, your viewers don't even need to remind so you, but a very dangerous serial sex offender. Twelve women were assaulted, one woman was raped, 103 other women alleged they were his victims, and for some peculiar reason the Crown Prosecution Service and police didn't decide to investigate those cases further. Mm. But this man is now coming out. The parole board will not say why he's being released, uh, but I can tell you, just over a year ago, they wouldn't, the Pro Board would not recommend him for release to an open prison, where it's much more relaxed, where people mm. can come and go, because they clearly didn't think he was safe enough. He's still in a high-security prison, mm. and he could be released within days. Back in London, presumably, where he lived before, where a lot of his victims live, and the mayor is saying... It's not good enough for the parole board to say, we don't have to tell you, no. we won't tell you. We don't even know which members of the parole board took the decision, so we can't challenge them. Mm. But is that because that's slightly for their protection as well, Kevin? I mean, maybe there's a reason why we're not told. Yes, I can understand that. If you're releasing somebody, they're going to go out. You, mm. You've got to handle them in some way in society, and then also how do those make the judgment? But I think the chair of the parole board has admitted that the system is flawed. One, not all his victims were told in advance he was going to be released. And secondly, I think there is this question of transparency. And you may not get the individual names of the parole board members who assess him, but you want to know, in broad terms, at the very least, who gives the evidence, what are their recommendations, because it's always possible that expert advice has been overruled. We yeah. don't know that, the but we Secretary do need it open, said, open justice. And the yeah. Justice Secretary had said, hadn't they, that they couldn't actually take this any further. Yeah. So what does the Daily Mail feel they can well, achieve? Well, I tell you, the Justice <laughs> Secretary, David Gork, initially said on a Sunday, this government would do everything in its power mm. to keep this monster, he didn't use the word monster, that's my word, mm in prison. Five days later, he waved the, 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 the white flag and said, I've had legal advice, which he won't publish, that we would not win a judicial review to challenge this decision. However, the mayor has talked to very senior lawyers of the stature of people like David Panic, Lord Panic, one of our most eminent lawyers, who say, I think a judicial review could succeed. And therefore, we're saying the government should have pushed that to the very end for the sake of the victims, and if they won't do it, we'll help crowdfund so the victims can take the What take a judicial review means he has to stay inside while it's being conducted? Yes. I'm not sure if it's into just how the decision was made and get, get the documents. I think it's possible then he might be released if there's a ju mm. judicial review on that. But remember, this is a Justice Department, and another case got it very badly wrong. They said Parliament wouldn't take the decision on Brexit went all the way to the Supreme Court, they lost. Who's to say they might have won this one if they'd have taken it? The law is there, you've got to challenge the law mm. in the courts. Uh, sometimes you see judges as, as the enemy of the people. I see them as the independent arbitrators of the law and interpreting it. They might have decided on this case that war boys shouldn't have been released. But I think, I think David Gort, the Justice Secretary, has protected his own. He's protected a legal establishment within his department right. when he but, should have challenged and, it. And if you are one of his victims, you want to really know for oh. certain that the parole board yes. decided he is no longer a danger to women. Because 18 months or so ago, when they wouldn't release him to an open prison, was there that was because they thought there was a risk? A risk. Perhaps, yeah. But again, there's mm. too much, there's not enough transparency. In no, 2009, you want to see ministers it. could get involved and block this sort of thing, yeah. so it was decided by Parliament it becomes too political. But there should be a means to repeal mm. this parole board decision.